Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode on The Afterlife. So, last episode we did the build imposter, and today we can get the voting done. So let's go in and have a look at all the submissions. Hey Mario. Ooh, okay, okay. We're seeing some interesting stuff. So, we are supposed to get our uh, book, and then go and vote on all of these. Well, not vote, but there's a few selections we need to do. So we have the Imposter's Bill, Imposter's Bill Topic, Mario's Bill Topic, did we receive a free point? Alright, so let's guess. So the team was Dark Lord. So this kind of fits, kinda. This fits. Neil Pheasants, yep, that, yeah, that, that, that fits for sure. This is... If that is the Eye of Sauron... Wait, 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 is there something here? Yeah, okay, yeah, I think I think this is supposed to be eye, the Eye of Sa Sauron with Frodo and... With Frodo and Sam. Yeah, yeah, Frodo and Sam. So, that kind of fits team. This... Mm, I don't know. This is a Headless Horseman. So, technically, it fits the team. Let's go down here. So, we got this. We got this. So, Dark Lord's throne. I have no clue what this is. I, I I don't know it. It's a crown, and I have no idea what that is. Melon Lord? No, Pumpkin Lord. This uh ah yes, S sacrificing Kyle. Mm, sacrificing could be Dark Lord. Hmm, this is tough. This is very very tough. So. This fits the Dark Lord. This fits the Dark Lord. This, I don't know. I, I don't think it does. I think it's Bill 4. I think it's Bill 4. Bill 4. Hitless Horseman. Mario's build. Okay. I don't think Mario would be the imposter. But... But I think it's him. Because this, I don't know whose build this is, but I don't think Mario would do that. Statue of J, I think that will be Tink. Because that. <laughs> I think I'm quite certain that's Tink. I'm quite certain. This, I don't know. I don't know who that would be. Then this. Part of me wants to say this would be Ash because of all the the high uh, was it the mushroom stuff the nether block stuff, but we got Kyle in orange over here, and someone in black trying to kill Kyle, so I'm gonna guess this is Kaffers, and then we got these two left, and I know Hubone is in it, and Ash as well is missing, so I think this would be a Hubone bill. And this would be an Ash build, I think. So if that is the case, only ones for Mario, Winter, and... Mario, Winter, and Jay, is that it? Right? So... Yeah, I think that's the only people I have not guessed. So, I think this... Hmm... I think this might be a Mario build. I think. I think... Oh, it does not... So... So... Bill 4. Okay, so I think that sets it for us. Because Bill, I think Bill 4 is the Headless Horseman. Because it's supposed to be similar to everyone's build, but slightly different. And that's the only one that kind of stands out. Other than the build at the bottom with the, the honey blocks, I don't know what that would be. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that is the Headless Horseman. Alright, that is done. Bill vote is in. So let's uh, put my book away. <laughs> I love this. All right, let's go get our new topic. So, so for you afterlife members, skip now. Oh, and it is Bad Bros. Ooh, okay, okay, crewmate, room thirteen. So this will be our room. I'm not gonna build it now. I'll I'll build it 
in the background, I'm not going to show my bill for it. So, Bad Bros, I got an idea for it. It's going to be <laughs> something a little interesting. So, I think I'm going to go up. So, I think I should be set on that. Um, also, let's just do that. But today, this is not our focus for today. So for today, what we want to do, we want to head over to the mausoleum. So for today, we got to beat up with KB because he has an interesting proposition for us. And we are going to do some building. So let's go meet up with him and we can get to work. I almost forgot to put on my tie, but at least I remembered before meeting with Justin, who should be around here somewhere. Mr. Hello. Justin? Hey. There we go. Hello, Mr. Justin. Welcome to Halloween Town. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful place over here. Well, it uh, is. It's yeah. really <laughs> developing. Oh, Maybe yeah, a beautiful light now. Uh, that is a clown's nose noise from my phone. <laughs> Let's ignore it. So, uh, are we ready to get started on this project we have in mind? Oh yeah, I think I think we are. Got all the materials. Should be good. Uh, we should have all the materials, okay. and we have this. So the idea is, I have the cemetery, and I want it to lead to a mausoleum. Which then leads to a game we want to develop. I think we can probably talk about that later. Let's build a sample, like build yeah. a mausoleum itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we reveal our master plan. Sounds like a plan. All right, KB, we are back. The start of this Blackstone dungeon is done. I like that name, the yep. Blackstone dungeon. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so we can go in, have a look at it. This is kind of, I think we skipped this building process of this so that we can give you a template of how the rest of the place will look more or less. And uh, it's a staircase. So I think these torches will probably be all changed. All of these will be going away soon. It's just all uh, temporary lighting. Yeah, this is what we want in here. This mood lighting and plenty of mobs hmm. to spawn. Oh, yes, yeah, we're going to light it in a way that mobs spawn as a part of the dungeon challenge. That's probably the only thing we'll reveal at this point. Yep. How do I say? And this is uh, where the Ooh. Count sleeps. Yep. <laughs> nice. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, this color palette, I've always wanted a darker color palette to do creepy builds with. And finally, with the update, we got it. Yeah, it's it's the I love Blackstone. It's the best thing added so far. <laughs> I love it. But, uh, at this point, I do want to mention Kaffir's uh, Nether Tunnel. If anyone's not seen it, you should try and I'll probably throw in a, a quick picture here. It's a nice a nice thing you can also do with the Blackstone. Oh yeah, definitely. So from here, we're gonna do some more things where the actual game starts. This is not going to be the actual game. This is the entrance, mm. but we're not going to tell you anything yet. So yeah. let's get to work on the other things and uh, reveal as we go, I guess. Yeah, I think that sounds like a plan. Oh boy. Okay. That is, uh, this is going to be fun. I, I am not going to give any teasers to anyone. Um, I might show off a thing or two here or there, but I'm going to keep ev most of the things I do for this a secret. Because I am enjoying myself, KB is enjoying himself doing this. So yeah, I want to keep it a secret so that none of the Afterlife members can take any sneak peeks. So that would be good. So this will be a project me and KB will be working on. But I got other projects to get done. I got other projects to get done. So let's go to the shopping district. And I did a thing. So yeah. The shop has been redesigned and rebuilt. I'm actually quite proud of this design. And luckily, with our deal with Ash, I don't have to worry about the interior. So I do have a few things set where I do want to end the chest in the middle here. And I'm either going to make it so that it's basalt one side and blackstone on the other. Or I might sell a few more things around here. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really, really happy with this. I'm proud of the design. There is some room for expansion in case I decide to sell more stuff, because the there is another floor actually out here. Um, we can mine this. 
So there is another room over here actually. So if we find a way, we can get ourselves up here. Maybe with the wines from the new nether stuff. So that would be a good way to get up. So that is good actually. I do like room for expansion. Today is actually going to be a busy day. We got a few more things. I do have one project I want to get started on today. Might not finish it today, but I want, do want to get started on. But we also do have another ABC project to get done. So let's hop down into the special room. So over at Jay's Concrete Maker, he does want to make things a little bit more efficient so he's not wasting so much time. Oh, for a second I thought that was a chicken there. <laughs> so he does want to make his time here more efficient. So he wants it so he can chuck shulker boxes of gravel and sand over into a sorter and it sorts sand here, gravel here, and then the shulker box returns somewhere else. So he can get stuff crafted even quicker. So he got a crafting bench here, he can quickly access everything, he can have the dyes up here, and so on. So, what I am thinking is, we will punch out this. This will be the shulker box input. So that will lead to an unloader that's just behind. Well, actually just under there. That will unload everything. It will chuck the shulker box into a item elevator that drops it down into a hidden barrel just at that block. And the items that comes up from the shulker box, that will go into a separate item elevator into a bulk storage that is filtered for sand and gravel. And then there will be enough backflow that this area is not changed. So I, I did want to try and do that as much as possible. Not change any of this look. So keep the look intact, but adding some additions. So let's build that. Oh, does that mean? All right, shulker box has returned and this has filled up. So that is a successful test. So the actual sorter is done. Input is here. That will be sand over here, gravel over here. And the output is hidden. And as for the redstone, so that input barrel you put in your shulker box, it goes into this dispenser, which, which dispenses onto this unloader. So the shulker will be sitting there, it'll be unloading all that stuff going through this lane and the items will be shooting up into the overflow chest here and being sorted. So there's a sorter over there, so it'll flow in, sort it out and this will be filling up once the once all the items are out of the shulker, it will shoot out the shulker into here because there's a piston hidden back there and from that, that will go into a separate item stream down there which shoots the shulker to fall into a hopper over there. So this should be more than enough overflow for Jay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, he asked for eight, but I gave him one extra buffer just in case. Plus he got all of this hopper to take into account. So it's plenty of buffer. Plus you got the extra hoppers between there and there. So. I think it's close to another double chest, maybe 10 double chests worth of buffer, maybe slightly more. So this should be good. System is up and running and all set. So that is another job well done. So future Justin here, you key night viewers might have noticed I made a huge mistake with that overflow setup because it's storing items but not letting you pull out any items. So uh, I will be fixing that by the time this video comes out. I can't believe I made that mistake. And back to the content. That again. Welcome to the parkour room of death. Of death. Of death. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, yes. Yeah, so we grind it a little bit and we have this room which will be filled, but we have this fog gloss effect with mm -hmm. the room kind of naturally blending into normal Minecraft world. Yep. The black zone just merging. I, I love that, that effect. Mm. Looks good. So this will be a parkour room. I do have the design ready, but in the spirit of things, we are not going to reveal everything to y'all. Mm. That will be safe for yeah, our final run. I think we'll also keep our actual run of the game for the next episode mm -hmm. and probably bring in some friends to run with us and see what times they can get. But we don't want to reveal too much and spoil it for everyone. But you can get an idea of our design in our room. Oh, yeah. I, I bet they will enjoy it. It's, at this point, working on this for so long and seeing how it's coming together, I'm very happy with it. And uh, it's 
gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to finish your parkour room, and then I'll probably see you in the next episode. I'm thinking. I don't think yeah. we'll meet up again for this episode. Yeah, I don't think so because we are pretty close to the end. Nice. And so on that note, it's been fun working on this project with you. Um, turned out better than I thought. Same here. I can't wait for everyone else's reaction. Hopefully people die too much. I mean, don't die too much. What? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> and I think on that note, I think that will be the end of this episode. KB and me have been hard at work grinding out all the rooms in the dungeon. So I'll leave you guys off with a final time lapse of KB and me digging out one of the rooms of the dungeon. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you've not. I don't know. We have to wait and see till the final reveal. So that's all gonna be for me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.